hyper efficiently at the edge, but with the same level of robustness you might get from like a massive okay. deep learning model just running on device. And so that kind of started the approach that we had with the company, which is more things that matter for the end consumer experience operating on device real time hyper efficiently versus what I think has become popularized, I would argue, even with LLMs, which is bigger is better of like, let's create the biggest, biggest, most robust models, run it in the cloud, you know, run it in these, you know, compute center kind of things, and then bring it back. I think we're going to start seeing that the marginal returns of doing that actually become less and less over time. In some ways, I thought DeepSeek was really interesting in this way of like, mm -hmm. actually getting most of the value in something cheaper, smaller, and more contained, I think is what we're going to continue to see, certainly around physical devices, where the entire value, and really when you think about distribution, is going to be on what's lighter, what's cheaper, what's easier to build and ship. And the more that we can do things on device with that lower footprint, I think the more valuable the end devices will be, and it will create this incredible virtual cycle.